U.S. War College study shows 95 to 100 percent probability of Khazarian Mafia defeat by Benjamin Fulford. The international military and legal campaign against the Khazarian Mafia is 95-100% to likely to succeed, according to probability models tested by the U.S. War College, say MI6 and Pentagon sources. This week's anniversary of 9-11 is followed by a Friday the 13th and is a good time to push hard for their inevitable final defeat, the sources say. The key to the Khazarian's defeat was handed over to the military by a group of Swiss mathematicians who analyzed 43,000 transnational corporations and traced their control to a group of 700 individuals, mostly bankers, MI6 sources say. This is a Ponzi scheme called the Global Network of Corporate Control GNCC, which is in an interlocking or bowtie corporate structure, the sources say. Military forces do their best work when they have a clear target, and this list of 700 individuals gave them that target, Pentagon sources confirm. The U.S. War College ran a series of probability models to come up with a plan that ensures the global coalition for the rule of law, i.e., the people, will ultimately prevail, the sources say. This doesn't mean the war is over yet, since the Khazarian mob is literally fighting for survival as it stirs up trouble in the U.S., U.K., Hong Kong, Iran, etc. However, these are just feudal rearguard efforts by a defeated, albeit extremely rich crime gang. One key date that is coming up is the September 17 Israeli election, where top satanic leader Benjamin Netanyahu and his fellow gangsters are using every dirty trick in the book to stay in power. The Jews must now either confront and defeat their Satanist rulers or else face a combined Turkish, Iranian, US, Russian, Arabian coalition that will force them to remove their criminal leaders. It's not going to be an easy fight. Even the Mossad-linked information, disinformation site Debka is saying Netanyahu is planning to start a war in order to postpone the election and stay in power. Furthermore, the Israeli newspaper Haaretz is reporting that Netanyahu is taking a page from the book of the US Democrats' Russian election-stealing scam to try to claim that the Arabs stole the election. By the way, the Russia did it scammers in the US might like this photo sent to me by the Russians of senior Lieutenant Olga Orlov of the Soviet Army, Melania Trump's grandmother. Orlov was a Yugoslavian fighting with the Soviets against Nazi Germany, the Russian sources say. In any case, another key date is the October 31st Brexit deadline in the UK. Here, judging from the bizarre antics of politicians, the Khazarians have called in every bribery and blackmail chip they have. Just one example, opposition Labour Party shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornberry said on TV she would seek the best deal possible with the EU, then campaign against it. The parliamentarians lead the country into a state of chaos and panic when the decision is already made. In or out does not matter two hoots, in the end the EU will no longer exist. MI6 sources promise. Staying in the EU would mean a loss of sovereignty and is in effect high treason and nothing else, they say. The monarchy and senior generals of the British Army are all aligned to sovereignty, and not the compromised politicians, they add. Public opinion in the UK is also against the politicians, despite the propaganda campaign by the press, who are agents of the mega-conglomerate controlled by the 700 bankers, they note. It is also interesting that while the Western corporate propaganda press rants on about places like Israel, Hong Kong, and the UK, they are completely ignoring a major and violent revolution. Continue reading at BenjaminFulford.net. Thank you.